Why don't all these vatos want that for their kids? If it's such a great thing, if they can reach this legendary status on par with Emiliano Zapata, Cesar Chavez, all these legends that we truly call legends, these vatos are on that on that on that level. That the word is the word. You can't change the definition. Uh, Raziel said, my bad, what I miss. AP said that rhetoric validates a child's thoughts of joining gangs. I believe that. I really do. I honestly do. And again, there's this is no there's no plato here. This is this isn't gonna continue. We're not gonna go back and forth. Like I said, I reached out to him and I let him know I was gonna do this. And this is the way I speak anyway. But I just felt that being that we have a lot of the same subscribers. He has a, obviously a lot bigger subscriber base than I do. But I think that just means that the his responsibility goes higher. I'm nobody. I can't tell up nobody what to do. It's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Raziel Cricket has laid it all out from his perspectives that are like what up oh this thing is gonna do that roberto said what up what up francisco said i don't know who dubs is but i don't know how these vatos are considered legendary when they decided to smoke someone to gain clout unlike cesar chavez emiliano zapata or well even martin luther king yeah definitely bro and 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 that's what i'm saying like how do you put these dudes on that same pedestal? Because that's what you're doing by using that word. You can't, there isn't different definitions. There isn't different levels of this shit. They're either legends or they're not. So you're saying Carnales are legends, Emiliano Zapata's a legend, Pancho Villa's a legend from Mexico. You know, there's all these, in the, in the United States, there's, there's many generals that were legends. There's, you know, you can look at, Navy SEALs that were legends, that did legendary shit. How does that compare? You just can't. It's hard. It's just, I just think it sends the wrong, us as adults, we can hear that rhetoric and just say, ah, come on, cut it out. But children, kids, especially if they're already on that route, if they're already on that on, uh, they're, they're already on that, uh, they're, they're teetering between that. They don't have a very well good home life. It's a broken home. They're already hanging out with the gangs. And you're telling them that somehow they can be accepted into this family that loves you. And you will become a legend. It's not true, none of it. It's not a family. They don't love you. They'll kill you quick. As quick as they'll kill anybody else. And they do. Most victims of the of the of, of most victims of every prison gang are the members of their own prison gang for the most part. Period. You can look at them all. Have they? Has there been? You know, we killed that lot of the yeah. Mostly in the seventies. Nowadays, it's mostly their own or their skina, their camaradas, whatever you want to call them. I, I just think it's wrong. To give any of that that type of definition where these kids can look forward to that. You're giving them an out on the inside. Instead of telling them the truth, fucking prison sucks. You're gonna lose a lot. You're gonna sit in there and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hold it all in because you're such a macho. You're never gonna cry, you're gonna be this hard, tough motherfucker. You're going to whack people that you're going to think about at night. But you're going to become a legend, bro. That's not cool, man. That's not the right, that's not the message to send. It's just not. Kids do not see it the way we see it. We have to remember that when we're talking. I get it. You're talking to adults in your chat. But you have to remember that some of your words could reach some kids' ears. And I'm not talking about four or five years. We're talking about some teenagers. That may get in there just because you named it that and want to hear about these legends. 
It's just, I think that that's been the problem from the beginning. We gave these vatos the power of hood status, of this legendary hood status. Everybody believed that that was the, the and I used to even say it. That was my argument to my jefita, to, to, to everybody. I'd be like, yeah, well, in the real world, you know, you, you, you try to become a president or a governor. In the pinta, you try to become a carnal. It's the same thing. It's crazy. It's crazy thinking. But that's how kids think. It's childish mentality. And we're speaking to those children. We need to remember that. Francisco said, or the code readers. Yeah, I stand with you. It's a cricket. said, man, man, thank you. But all the guns are popping and bullets are flying in the city. And we got a late night live. What are they? Thank you. Well, listen, Dr. Chapati. As a father, I want my son to look up to legends that are going to inspire him to go in the right direction. Of course. That, I mean, I think every father would. Even them vatos. Listen, I don't, I don't expect people to disrespect them dudes. I don't expect people to call them out of their names. I don't expect any of that. Listen, they're, they're people that they fucked up. They made a mistake. And now they're making the best of that mistake as they can in the pinta. But legends, that's just not it. That's not what it is. They're making the best of what life they have now. I get it. You don't have, it doesn't have to be a disrespect towards them. No one has to, you don't have to come on and call them bitches and call them punks or dope fiends if you don't want to. You don't have to. I have animosity. So I apologize for that. I do have animosity. So those are some of the words I use. But these dudes want to kill me. So I'm sorry if I'm, you know, if I'm a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? When people want to kill me, I tend to not like them very much. Other than that, but I get, I get the other side of it. No one has to do that. You don't have to go crazy. It doesn't have to be the other side of that. I just think we need to keep it in perspective. It's not legendary. It's the, the, that's, that word cannot be used for these vatos. They can't. No matter what we think. I know we grew up thinking a certain way. I know that. I know that these are who we always looked up to. But we need that shit needs to end in our mind. And, and that way, for these kids, it won't continue. The war stories to these kids about these dudes, how they were this, this great dudes that... Man, it's it's not it's not that way. Uh, or the code readers, yeah. What are the guns? Oh, I want my bad. As a father, yeah. Francisco, see, we need our children to understand that Hale isn't legendary; it's only temporary. Educating them to vote and help make true changes in our communities, like those people do in Paradise Valley or Scottsdale. Yeah, I mean, again, like we, like I say, a lot of us like to talk about the raza and the betterment of. That that route isn't the betterment of. You know what I mean? I'd much rather see us become people in our in society. Forget all this, uh, you know, white people hold us down. All that. Come on, the only ones that can hold you down is you yourself. I've been out, I did 20 years. Went in when I was 17, got out when I was 37. I've been out seven years. And now I got a job where I make $54,000 a year. Salary. Like, I never thought I would have a job that paid salary. That may not sound like a lot to normal people. But I've accomplished that in seven years. That, that's a lot to me. The last job I had on the street, I made four twenty-five an hour. That was that was what the minimum wage was back then. It's it, you know, it, that's the shit that should be celebrated. The vatos that are out here, striving, making it in this world after being in there, and that still doesn't make us legendary. I mean, I just I fuck it. I got a job, like. It's great, but that should be normal. The legends are those that give up their life for others or change the world. Like, like there's like those are the people they call legends. There is no better word for somebody. Statues and shit are made for legends. 
how does that compare? Uh, I know I'm just repeating myself now, and I don't mean to, but it just, it, it's just it's uh, just you know that, that's it. That, that's all I kind of wanted to, to to say. I don't want to harp on it, or, or you know. And like I said, I reached out to homie and let him know I was going to be doing this. I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to be misconstrued as some kind of shot, you know, over the bow, or you know, now it's beef and hey, none of that stuff. I, I actually enjoy the Vato stuff. Um, I really, I used to watch him a lot more when he was doing his lives and just sitting there drinking and stuff before he started doing like videos and stuff. But he used to speak on stuff that was like, I, I, I could totally agree with the anti-prison stuff that he used to talk about. And I get it. He found a way to make feria and, the, and, and, and that's the path he wants to take. Cool. But por favor. Stick to this belief, the beliefs you had, brother. Kids do not need to believe that stuff about these guys. Uh, LA Dodger said, I always thought it was more dangerous to walk population than to be stuck in the back, locked up, doing my time. Yeah, for sure. It's like we're programmed from kids to idolize the wrong individuals. Michael Jordan is a legend, not the Carnales. He'll he sacrificed his body, working out every day to be the best you could be at basketball, and he achieved that. Forty said, being a carnal, it's all about where you're at, who you know, favoritism. That's it. Being at the right place at the right time. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. Actually, that's that's all the truth. Absolutely. As y'all said, an entirely new set of politics. Cricket, I tell them that all the time. Chapatins early, who upset the grill? <laughs> no, I'm not upset, bro. It's that tribalism, said Burqueño. He's not upset, Chapatin. It's a jump. Just expressing an opinion on Colin Carnales' legends. Forty said, I mean, all the sacrifices, a life sentence for that, right? They can't spend all the money they get, give it, that send it to their family, and they're stuck in the cell 24-7. That makes them happy. I see. I mean, the thing is, like, it, it, you got to make the best of, of your life where you're at now. I get that. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't. I'm not saying like, you know, it sucks that again. Like I said, prison has rules. There's a way of doing things in there, and it is what it is. It sucks that it's that way. Um, I wish it could be different, but it is what it is. But when it starts touching these streets, and it starts involving kids which we know it does because most kids that are in that lifestyle some way right mostly from broken homes or some aspire to be these vatos they're willing to throw their life away there's dudes there's there's actual uh, uh, lots i know lots of situations where vatos came in with five ten fifteen years whatever it was and picked up a life sentence or whatever for this shit. A lot of you vatos from Arizona, uh, if you guys remember, when Negro banged Cadillac, uh, or you know, when he banged that vato on the Yarda, uh, it wasn't Cadillac, I'm sorry, but when he when he got that vato on Cimarron with the, with the weight bar, Ray Ray Gaitan was the one who walked the vato over to him. Ray Ray was get doing five years. They gave him 25 to life for that. Negro ended up getting life and received his release papers in the county jail while he waited for the new charges to hit. Like people throw their lives away for this because of because of that bullshit. People think because people look up to that, aspire to be, want to be part of something, something great, something legendary. It's just not that. <sighs> Dr. Apatine said, what let's see? Ray Diaz said, to me, a legend is a person that gets up every day and takes care of their family and their kids and works hard to support their family, get them what they need, put a roof over their head. Exactly. Listen, bro, I'll even say if there is levels to this shit, then I'll call Dubs a legend. Vato, you did all that time. You got out. And you're taking care of your family. You go to work. You don't even think about crime. That's that's what motherfucking Rasa needs to do. 
That's what everybody needs to do that's been part of any of that life. Raza, gabachos, negros, whatever. Chopper, 35 years in the joint. Now he's working, going out on dates, doing his thing. Like these are the people that should be celebrated. Maybe we don't use those words legend for them, but you know, they should be celebrated. Not the ones that did the real easy thing. It's not that hard to do these pegadas. Not when it's two, three of you going after one and stabbing them up. Not that hard to do it when the whole yard is behind you. That's not some sacrificial shit. AP said, Simone Ray, selfless people who give us life and nurture. Sean Zavante said, having freedom is purely legend. Having someone run your program with fear and so-called amor from the cell just for their approval of you is brainwash. Yeah. And it sucks, bro, because them bottles, they, they don't care about your life. If they're willing to throw you away that way, why are you willing to get thrown away? That's what Anthony need to start thinking about. You're being thrown away by these dudes. Whether it be, even if they, even if they, even if they give you that patch, even if you earn that great thing, and you're celebrated by them supposedly because they, they allowed you into this world of theirs. That's when it all starts, bro. That's when you start realizing what it's really about. That's when they start killing your homies because you're in their territory, Garnada. That's when they start making moves and politicking after, at you because you're making too much money, Garnada. That's when you sent someone in to collect feria into their territory, Garnada. Come on, man. These dudes don't give a fuck about each other. You think they're going to give a fuck about you or some kids? But we're celebrating these vatos, calling them legends, and helping their propaganda, putting out their recruitment word, the words of recruitment. That's that's the recruitment tool. I do agree with you. I also watch Doves. He does speak a positive message, and it seems pretty apparent. He's remorseful for the crime he committed as well. He seems honest, but I can't see how that can encourage kids to be enticed and be glamorized. Yeah. And, and like I said, I, I believe that to be the case. I believe the Vato, yeah. I, like I said, I like dubs. This isn't this isn't against dubs. This has nothing to do with dubs, honestly. A lot of people have those same thoughts. And I just wanted to put this out there, my opinion on it and why. Whether it's valid or not, I'll let you decide. And maybe, you know, maybe he hasn't thought of it the way I'm saying it, you know, maybe or, or maybe I'm thinking too much of what I'm, of my own opinion. I don't know. But this it, it, it's not rare what he's saying. So I'm not it's not blaming him. It just gave me an opportunity to speak on this on a, on a, on this level. You know what I'm saying? Like it gave me dialogue. Basically, I can respond to something. That's it. It's not it's not even about dubs. It's really not. I told him I was going to do it out of respect. Because, you know, I'm not that's just the way I am. I'm not I'm not no I'm not no piece of shit that's just going to sit here and start talking shit about people behind their back and regardless of the situation. Um, but it's not it, but I'm not talking about it. I'm just talking about the word legends and and how he used it and how many people believe it to be. A lot of, there's a lot of people that believe that, you know what I mean? A lot of people that say that. That's not, it's not like dubs made it up, you know. But, you know, this is my opinion on it. I just think that, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's a fine line, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's truly propaganda. It's recruitment tool that that's, or, you know, sending the wrong message, I think. 480. Wait. 
Before he said, boxer from Cali had a woman killed somebody's daughter, cousin, tia, because she stole a drug money. He sent killers to kill a woman. Yeah, she was in the game, but so what? She had a drug problem. That's legendary. And and that's not nothing new, bro. Um, on our end, on our side in Arizona, uh, Pablo killed Floater and Carol, his wife. And then they went to New Mexico and they killed a 16-year-old kid for getting in the way. These dudes, they're just killers. That's not legendary. And they don't do this stuff thinking they're going to get caught. So there's no sacrifice there. In fact, they celebrate not getting caught. They become more legends by not getting caught. More legendary, I guess I should say by not getting caught. People speak of them about, oh, he did that and didn't get booked. He got this dude, he killed that guy, he killed this guy. Those are the ones that are spoken of the most. That's just sick, bro. That's not the life that we should be living. That's, I mean, that's, the, that's just not the world I wanna be a part of anymore. I've seen people cry. Cause they lost people. I've seen victims, mothers, cry. It wasn't their fault that their kid got involved in something. And it wasn't my place to do that. Dr. Chapatin said 480. Cesar Chavez is a legend, said Hard Life. Dubs is solid, Francisco. The Los 20 days is just a different format than what Cricket and Rasco have going on. I want I watch him every now and then. Rojo from Rojo's room too. Yeah, again, it just it's not again. This isn't about Dubs. It's not. You know, this is just a response to something Dubs put out, but it's not about Dubs. Many people believe that to be the case, and I and I felt that this would be the that this gave me the opportunity to to make to actually make a video that specifically spoke about this word. We've talked about it before in my lives, but I've never made a video about how I felt about it. And I just, just gave me that, that chance to do that. I, I just took the opportunity to do so. But I let them know I was gonna do it because I didn't, you know, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody or nothing like that. I liked the Wapo, like I said. Um, I sent word to him that I, I, I've never spoken to him um, we're not friends outside of this or nothing like that. I just sent word to him through through someone that speaks to him and that I speak to. Uh, we all can be legends in our families by rising above obstacles and pursuing excellence not perfection said hard life yeah for sure um i think i'm a legend to my son you know i mean i'm not i'm proud of that i think i've 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 done i've done a lot to show him that 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 he may he means a lot to me that i was willing to leave a lot of my old ways behind for him Definitely. 480 said, that's cool. Shout out to Doug before doing this video. Cricket not on some coward shit. Talking about somebody else back. You have to respect that. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to make sure that he knew that this was coming. Um, and I, I'll probably put it out tomorrow. Um, right now we're recording it. I'll cut it up and, and I'll release it tomorrow as a video. Um, but yeah, it wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna be a surprise. I couldn't do. That. I'm not gonna do that to nobody. I, that's not the type of motherfucker I am. For exactly, cricket. I say that too. He fucks his own people. What makes you think he won't fuck you? There's, there's always that, and he does. They do. Think of all the pegadas that have happened, almost daily in prison, Arizona, California, whatever prisons. Almost daily, bottles are getting hit. They went so far as to say no hands policy, no more calentadas. It used to be calentadas. I don't know who knows about those or how long you've done time or what. 
But there used to be a time where if you made a mistake, they would send three vatos in to beat your ass, jump you, calentada only. Nobody's life was in danger. You weren't, you know, it was just calentada. It was just something to wake you up, I guess. Then they went with the no hands policy. Everybody has to stick. So everybody has to throw their life away. It's just fucked up. It's just, it's just a, it, it's a, it's just a movida that shows that they could care less about you, but you're looking up to them. It's, it, you know, people need to realize, it. and kids won't, kids won't see it that way, unless we put it to them that way. And unfortunately, with people using propaganda like that, I mean, I, I, you know, again, you know, I'm not blaming everything. On dubs. This is just the conversation that that started because of what he said, and what he said is nothing new. Lots of people use those palabras, um, and lots of people believe it to be the the case. You know that. It, so this is just a conversation starter. You know, what's the name of Dubs' video cricket? Do you remember? Um, I believe it was uh, Legends, something Legends, bro. I actually, um, I'm not sure. But again, like I said, oh, so it's called, yeah, he called it Legends, uh, Cautionary Prison Tale or Prison Story. 